oil. Hi there classmates, I'm Dominic Almirez from Section B and this is my presentation about my project roles and reflection about Project Sana Oil. Just for context, Project Sana Oil is a humble brainchild made out of conflicting schedules. Yes, I was a former part of a group in the beginning of the course and initially I performed preliminary tasks as much as I can deliver. However, due to stiff conflicts of schedule in attending meetings and project updates with the team, it became better option for me to continue working on this humble project alone. This is why all of these project roles were not just overseen but all performed by yours truly. Starting from the project conceptualization and research up to monitoring and evaluation and communication to partners and linkages. Project Sana Oil seems to be a very simple and silly term for a project, but I see the beauty and significance of this very little yet very relatable concept. Because I am working alone in this project, I consider beginning with the end in mind. Starting from the rationale, the situation, or specifically in Mauban, Quezon, the situations of eateries and restaurants there, as well as the common fact that all of the households that we belong to are all subjects in this campaign. That is why I initially tapped the possible or potential connections and offices that can be practically part of this project. And here, uh, social media management uh, become fairly easy in my end because I have been managing FB pages prior to Project San Oil. In the context of this course, these two items were all that I need. These are the content branding and content plan schedule. As part of the content management, I also considered the four piece of Sana Oil, and I came with this to stabilize the campaign. We have the product, price, place, and promotion, with a bonus for the compliant audience. Furthermore, as you can see, Project Sana Oil, in the logo, it brings good vibes and high energy like a mascot superhero, as represented by the bottle of cooking oil. And of course, the SDG12 icon that says Responsible Consumption and Production. Sana Oil. Furthermore, with the campaign and implementation part, I was so overwhelmed with the support of the target audience. And these are the members of the Youth for Environment and Schools Organization, or the YSO, for this movement of promoting Project Sana Oil as one of their campaign projects for the year. With an impressive engagement of 12,000 and counting, Project Sana Oil has reached its target audience. Also, the top content. Also follow the visual branding, which is an animated superhero, but in the form of infographics. And also as part of the groundwork, some students of the YSO Club were able to gather videos of how eateries, including our school canteen, discards the use of oil. Sana Oil in the communication to partners and linkages, I've sent them emails and hard copy of letters for my proposal to be approved and for me to have my instant audience in school. Included here are my communication materials for the Office of the Menero, Office of the Youth for Environment and Schools Organization, and to the Office of the Supreme Secondary League of Students. Now, given the question, what aspects am I going to change or improve if I were given the chance to re-implement this project? Right now, I cannot think of another name for re-implementing this, so I will still call this Sana Oil. But these two things could have made the campaign more actionable and could reach more target audience and achieve a full circle. And this is only possible if we could find a company or even a local producer which can help in processing the used cooking oil into something useful. Because this step alone can complete the picture of SDG 12, which is not only about responsible consumption, but the actual production itself, specifically recycling and upcycling the collected used oil into something useful that's beyond a discarded cooking oil alone. Also, if I was just given more time to implement this quite earlier in the semester, Sana Oil could literally be Sana All in the end. And that's the end of my social marketing campaign summary about Project Sana Oil. Hopefully, you appreciated a thing or two. Maraming salamat! Sana Oil